as we've talked about, I think, throughout the year, um, our ADM is higher than, than we projected. Um, we budgeted for 965, and I think we're going to end up somewhere around 982, 985, somewhere around that number. So we will be needing to do an, uh, an appropriation request to the city. Um, and I've put that on the table for you. I don't, you might want to discuss it or then put it on a later, later date. Um, but we'll have 275,000, you know, that's at, uh, that's at 982 in additional state funding. Now, all, not all of that is due to ADM. Um, about 96,000 of it is ADM. Other significant increases are 66,000 in supplemental lottery funds, 63,000 the regional special ed tuition, 20,644 was our security grant that we got. And the remaining about 28,000 is just based on specific programs that are targeted for, um, for certain populations. In addition to the state funds, we have um, some additional federal funds for Title I and Gear Up Virginia. Um, you'll remember back in the beginning of the year, we had a um, Virginia College Advisory person at Covington High School through the University of Virginia. And we got a grant of 17500 That's really just past the funds. They gave us the money and then we sent it to UVA and they are paying that person. Um, and then we have some Title I money, additional Title I um, uh, appropriation for this year. And then we have um, $47,000 in, um, this is the second year of the Responsive Classroom Grant through the, through the Allegheny Foundation. Um, responsive classroom training takes place during the summer months for our teachers and um, that money needs to be added to the budget. Um, so um, <coughs> that, that's the revenue side. Melinda may want to talk about yeah. the expense side of this. And, um, and at many meetings ago and again last time we discussed how we would spend the additional dollars and we are concerned about purchasing more buses, asbestos, uh, some uh, replacement of some equipment we might need, as well as taking care of certain things in our buildings. So before, parking lots. Parking lots, yes. So before we take this appropriation request to the city, you see the revenues that we're going to have, but I'd like to give you some more details exactly about how much it's going to cost to do all those things. The gentleman, and we need to get this to the city as soon as possible, but I need to talk to Mr. Hambrick, who does our asbestos projects. Uh, Mr. Reed is trying to get me multiple quotes on the Jeter Watson Edgemont parking lot. I don't have those yet. We've talked about purchasing buses or leasing buses. That would take a big, big chunk of the money, but I think we need to have another meeting possibly next week and talk about this appropriations and, and talk, hopefully I'll have more detailed information before we take it to the city. Uh, I think they need to understand that we have this money, we're <coughs> going to spend it wisely. It's a one-time uh, revenue, yeah, it's not it's, a recur- It's, it's, not. it's um, you know, we, we based our budget on 965 and we had 985, whether that, you know, like next year we're budgeting for 975. You know, so no, this is, and I'd like to say, not all of it. Look, you know, it's the regional special ed money, yes. and with that money, um, we hired a special ed teacher at Covington High School and filled a vacant okay. construction okay. aid position um, at Covington. Uh, I'm sorry, hired a, we hired a special ed teacher at Judah Watson and filled a vacant instructional aid position at Covington High School. <coughs> um, so you know, it's. But some of it is ADA money, and you don't know if that money, you don't know if you'll have that money. And the additional lottery money is just based on the, the amount of revenues in the lottery. If they have money to disperse out, we get our fair share. So we can't count right. that. Right. And this was from so the governor's caboose budget. This was the governor's some well, of it. Well, it's, ba it's based on the, the General Assembly's final budget that they approved in February. But it, It'll be revised based on once all the ADM figures are finalized, which they aren't yet. Um, but I think it's safe to say, based on our numbers, that we're going to have 982. I think that's a safe number, too. So I, I would like to give the city good numbers when we take the appropriation request. And that'll be actually on your May meeting. 
Yes. Anyway, so I mean, it's we have to get it on their agenda. Get it in the next couple weeks, too. Yes. Them, right. Yes. So that's my proposal. Rebecca's done a nice job in putting together the document that you were given uh, in your packet, but I think we need to work on it a little bit more before we make that official request to the city. Any questions from anybody? Well, we can show that uh, the leases that we've done on the buses have proved to be fruitful. <coughs> so that's a wise investment, and that's that one time um, down payment, and then to make our payment whatever per month. So I think that's a wise one. Continuing the asbestos abatement, I think, is a good idea. Get that done. If we have the funds able to do it, we can say we've done it and it's done. We won't have to worry about it again. Quit talking about um, it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and the, a handful of things like that, like some of the parking lots, you don't want them to get too far gone because then you're going to end up spending more down the line. So, um, if we can show that that's what we're doing with it, we're taking care of these things, we're not doing recurring programs with it. Right and making sure that we have to count on that amount of money every year. Together. This is what we have, Correct. this is what we exactly. want to do with mm -hmm. it. Exactly. It's a smart play. I think it is. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we will talk about another meeting, and we will talk about having uh, me bring you some more up-to-date funds, uh, numbers for these projects. But we can at any time request the city put it on the agenda. Yeah, just. I mean, we can, we can ask them now for that. And we'll just give them the details later. But we're going to be on the agenda for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vote on this tonight. I think we need to move on that quickly. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to move on getting on the agenda the city. Right. And like you we said, can, we can yeah. go ahead and do that. Yeah. 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 Definitely. So we want to. Okay. Make a motion to vote okay. too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, we need a. Motion to request the city for the um, additional revenues. The the reallocation of the additional revenues. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 